So let us have a look at different types of operators in Python. At first we have uh, the arithmetic operators. In arithmetic operators we have the addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, floor division, modulus and power operators. So let's try to use uh, the addition operator to add two numbers. <clears throat> so when I say 3 plus 4 so here we are making use of the addition or the plus operator okay and then ne next uh, let us uh, subtract two numbers so when I say 5 minus 3 the result will be equal to 2 and if I write 2 minus 5 the result will be minus 3 and then if you want to multiply two numbers we can make use of the star operator so if I say 2 into 3 2 or 2 star 3 you will get 6 and there is something called floor division operator so let's first uh, take a look at what we are trying to say here so when I am dividing a number for example uh, 10 divided by uh, 4 okay so what is the result here so the, the quotient is 4 into 2 is 8 and the remainder is 2 right so the quotient is equal to 2 and the remainder is equal to 2 so if you want to get the quotient part you can make use of the floor division operator which is nothing but the double slash so when I write 10 double slash double forward slash 4 you will get 2 which is nothing but the quotient so if you want to get the remainder part which is this one so you can make use of the modulus operator so when I say 10 modulus 4 you will get 2 but what if you want the result in the floating point number or, or which has the decimal point right so the actual result will be 10 divided by 4 is 2.5 okay so if you want to get this number then we, we can make use of a single forward slash so this is the division operator okay so let's take a look at the power operator so what is power um, when I say um, for example if I say 2 to the power of 3 which is basically anything but 2 into 2 into 2 which is equal to 8 so to perform this kind of operation you can make use of the power operator which is nothing but 2 stars so when I say 2 to the power of uh, 3 we can write it like this and you'll get the result as 8 so next uh, let us take a look at the assignment operators <clears throat> at first we have a simple assignment operator simple assignment operator is basically a, a single equal sign we just make use of this almost all the time so when I say um, a variable name equal to 4 so when I say a equal to 4 I am assigning the value 4 to the variable a using the assignment operator sorry using the assignment operator so let's declare a, a variable with, uh, with a value string b equal to hello world so this is the example of a simple assignment operator so next we have something called increment assignment operator so when I declare um, a number a equal to 10 so the increment assignment operator is something like this a plus equal to 1 so if I execute this what happens is uh, number 1 will be added to 10 and the result will be equal to 11 so after the end of execution of this line the result of, uh, of or, the, or the value inside a will be equal to 11 so similarly if I write uh, a plus equal to 3 uh, 3 so now the, it is equal to 11 11 plus 3 will be equal to 14 so the value of a will now be 14 okay so similarly we have uh, yeah well basically we can use this uh, increment assignment operator on strings as well so let me try to show an example of how that looks so if I write b equal to a string hello and um, if I write something like a b plus equal to world so as expected what do you think will happen is uh, this particular word world will be 
appended to our initial string value which is hello so the final string val value will be equal to hello world okay so it, it works on the strings as well so similarly we have uh, a decrement assignment operator it works just like the increment assignment operator just um, you know, subtracts the number so if I say a equal to 10 and when I say a minus equal to 1 so you know what the result will be it will be equal to 9 but let's try using the same thing on strings uh, let's see if if that if that works or not so I'll declare a string um, hello world so I'll write something like uh, b minus equal to world so let's see if this thing works so it'll throw an ex exception that uh, unsupported operate operand types for uh, minus equal to uh, str so it doesn't work on string the decrement assignment operator doesn't work on string but the increment assignment operator will work okay so next we have uh, the multi multiplication assignment operator okay so when I say a equal to 2 and if I say a star equal to 2 a star equal to uh, let's say 3 okay so what happens is 2 will be multiplied by 3 and its value will be changed to 6 so if I execute a if, if I execute this you'll see that the value of a now is equal to 6 so let's try the same thing on strings okay if I if I uh, write something like b equal to a b c so basically if we write uh, a star equal to sorry b star equal to 3 so what happens is the the value abc will be replicated three times so the final value will, value will be something like abc abc and abc so if i execute this and check the value of b it will be equal to abc three times so if i if you have a string and you use the multiplication uh, you no know, operator multiplication assignment operator it just multiplies with or or just replicates with the number you give here so similarly we have uh, a division assignment operator as well so let's take a simple example uh, to check that so when i say uh, a slash equal to 4 and we check the value of a it will be equal to 2.5 okay and of course we also have this uh, floor division and, uh, and 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 the modulus operator with to get the quotient and the remainder as well so if i write a double slash equal to 4 you'll get the value as uh, 2 which is the quotient and then if you say a modulus equal to 4 you'll get 2 which is nothing but the remainder and we also have the power assignment operator so if I write a equal to 2 and if I say a star equal to 3 if you check the value of a it should be equal to 8 so let's now have a look at the relational operators so first uh, let us have uh, let's let's check the operator to check the equality so in relational operator uh, the first one that we want to check is this one a double equal one double equal to one so basically this relational uh, equality check operator will compare the left hand side and the right hand side so when I say double equal to I'm just checking whether the left hand side is equal to the right hand side so it will give the result in boolean values either true or false in this case the left hand side is equal to the right hand side so the result that you're going to get is true so when I say something like 150 double equal to 150 you'll get true and uh, if I write something like 15 equal to 14 double equal to 14 you will get false because left hand side is not equal to the right hand side the same thing works on the strings as well when I say high double equal to high you will get 
true so we similarly we have an operator to check if the, the two values are not equal so if i write something like phi not equal to 4 it just checks whether the left hand side is not equal to right hand side if it is not equal then it will return true so left hand side is not equal to right, right hand side so it is it gi it gives uh, true as the result <coughs> so if i write something like phi not equal to phi the left hand side is equal to the right hand side that's why you'll get false so we have an operator to check if the given value is greater than the other value so when i write something like 6 greater than 4 so it checks whether the 6 is greater than 4 in this case 6 is actually greater than 4 you'll get a boolean value equal to true and when i say something like 10 less than 5 it will check whether 10 is less than 5 it is not equal to less than uh, 10 is not less than 5 that's why you'll get false then we have something called greater than or equal to so you can check it uh, check both greater than or equal to at the same time so when i say something like 10 greater than or equal to 10 okay you'll get true because 10 is equal to 10 even if it is equal to 11 you'll get true and if it is equal to 10 you'll get true so when I say something like 10 greater than or equal to 9, you'll get false because it is neither greater than or nor equal to 10. So it is actually less than 10. So similarly, we have the less than and less than or equal to operator. So when I say phi less than phi, you'll get, sorry, you'll get false. And if I say phi less than or equal to phi, you'll get true. So next, uh, let us see the Boolean operators, which is nothing but the AND, OR, and NOT. It's just basically just like multiplication. So when I say 1 and 1, so this is how the Boolean operation works. Okay. <clears throat> I think in other programming languages, you write uh, something like AND and OR. Okay, in Python, like we have, we have to write and and or. So when I say one and one, it is basically equivalent of writing one into one, which is equal to one. Okay, and then if I write one or one, which is basically equal to writing one plus one. So or is nothing but plus, and is nothing but multiplication. So this is also equal to one. So when I say one and 0 it is basically equivalent of writing 1 into 0 so what is the value it is equal to 0 and when I say 1 or 0 so it is basically equivalent of writing 1 plus 0 the value will be equal to 1 so when I say 1 and 1 it is basically just like multiplication 1 and 1 is 1 so if I say 1 and uh, 0 sorry 1 and 0 this is also equal to this is equal to 0 so if I say 1 plus sorry, 1 or 1 so you should understand something here uh, when I write the result uh, this is not the result of uh, decimal value it is the boolean value so 1 plus 1 is actually equal to 2 right but in boolean or uh, in boolean uh, result it is equal to 1 okay So if I write, what if I write 100 or 0? So you'll get 100, which is the greater number. Okay. So if you want to convert this result to Boolean value, you will get true. So we can also do something called true and false. So you'll get false. If you say true and true, you'll get true. So next we have the not operator which basically inverts the given value. So when I say not 1, you will get uh, uh, you'll get f 0 or false right so you'll get false 
so it just inverts the value so when I say not 0 you will get true so if we write not of true you will get false so what if we write not of uh, 60 you will get false and yeah we know that not of 0 is equal to false when I say not of minus 50 this is also equal to false so only not of 0 and not of false will be equal to true or one uh, so, sorry true so let's finally look at um, something called uh, left shift and right shift operators okay but before that uh, let's understand understand some theory here so when I write an ex a number something like uh, 0 1 sorry so when I write something like 1 1 0 when I do left shift by 1 it's nothing but add appending 0 to the least significant bit so if initially my number is 1 1 0 after left shift by 1 the final number will become 1 1 0 okay but then what about the right shift uh, we will we'll like take a look at that later so let's try to do the left shift so when I write a uh, number so if you want to write a number in binary you have to specify it with 0 and B so <clears throat> to make Python understand that whatever I'm writing is a binary number not a decimal number so I will left shift this with 1 so if I execute this <coughs> so we are getting the result in uh, decimal okay uh, so yeah but before that let, let's let's try to understand how to convert the binary number to decimals so for example if we have a number like 1 1 0 okay so let's say 0 1 1 0 okay on top of each of these numbers you should write 1 2 4 8 and if numbers uh, keeps on increasing it will you have to multiply with two times and add and uh, write on top so it will become 16 32 something like that <clears throat> so at the place of 0 we have 8 but we have 0 here so it will be 0 so 0 into you know 8 will be equal to 0 so 1 into 4 will be equal to 4 1 into 2 equal to 2 and 0 into 1 equal to 0 so the decimal equivalent of 0 1 1 0 is equal to 6 okay <clears throat> so for our example what is the input that we are giving it is 1 1 0 right so it is 1 1 0 so if you want to convert that to decimal so it is 1 2 4 it is 4 plus 2 equal to 6 <clears throat> okay and uh, what we got was 12 right so let's convert this number ideally we are supposed to get this output right if we are shifting left it means we are appending 0 to the least significant bit so when I convert this value to decimal it will be like 8 plus 4 which is equal to 12 right so that is what we are getting here 12 so but then if you want the result in binary so you can just uh, convert that to binary by using bin here and execute this and you'll get the result in binary okay and similarly if you want to shift two times what happens is uh, it will add two zeros to the least significant it will append two zeros to the least significant bit so you'll get one one double zero sorry one one triple zero okay now let's look at the right shift uh, operator so right shift operator is uh, the left shift shift is all about appending zero and the right shift operator is all about removing the least significant bit so if we have a something like uh, 110 same example the right shift means that just removing the most sorry least significant bit so the right shift by 1 will be will result in something like one one that's it <coughs> so if I write um, binary of uh, 
zero one one zero zero b one one zero right shift by one so we'll get one one and then if i write right shift by two in this case two of the uh, digits in the least significant bit will be removed so we'll get only one 